हेलो एवरी वन हैव यू एवर टेस्टेड पाम फ्रूट केक इट्स सो यमी एंड डिलीशियस दिस इज मेनली अवेलेबल ओनली ड्यूरिंग दिस सीजन बिकॉज दिस इज द सीजन ऑफ पाम फ्रूट्स दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज टॉडी और सिंपली टू टेल दीज आर द फ्रूट्स इफ वी लीव इट टू द ट्री वेन दे आर विद आइस एप्पल्स दे टर्न टू बिकम दिस palm fruit so this is very tasty this just replicates or resembles the pulp of a mango so let us see how to prepare this cake so you need to take these uh, palm fruits the main thing you need to remember is you should allow the fruit to fall directly from the tree and also as soon as it falls down you need to pick it up you should not um leave it for 2 to 3 days and then uh, try to cook it you should cook it the same day itself so remove the caps on top of this palm fruit and then start peeling it nicely from top to bottom like this and then you will be left with three seeds inside this yes like this so you need to peel gently all the outer coat or the cover of the seed of the palm fruit like this the brownish or orangish color one so once you remove this you will be left with this seeds full of fiber or strings or threads so you need to put that in a bowl and then on the other hand you need to gently uh, press it so that all the fibers get loosened and you start observing that the pulp from the seeds coming out so that is the time you need to wet your hand with some water and then start pressing it gently and then you need to remove the pulp out of it so gently dab your hand in the water and then start pressing it repeat the same process with the remaining palm fruits also so once you see that the seed of the palm fruit is where has become juicy now this is the time you need to put sieve on top of it here i have put a sieve over here and then start scrubbing just as you um wash your utensils or clean your utensils as you scrub the utensils the same manner so scrub it till you scrub it till you are left without any pulp in it so at the end you will find that only the fibers on top of it without any pulp see it will become very dry and very loose the fibers become loosened so this is the time you can put those seeds apart and repeat the same process with the remaining seeds of the palm fruit also see the pulp is very thick in fact see this exactly resembles the pulp of a mango the same color the rich orangish color so i have removed the pulp out or puree out of the palm fruit and i have got two cups and i have put it aside and then i have taken a cup of fresh grated coconut and then one and a half cup of jaggery so uh, i have grounded it nicely so take a large bowl for mixing and then add one full cup of uh, jaggery and then give it a nice stir see there should be no lumps of jaggery in the puree so you need to mix it really well and it should be very thin in consistency so here i'm not adding any sugar into it just the jaggery check for the sweetness and then again you need to add so i have added only 3/4 cup of the coconut uh, grated coconut so if you need it you can add it at the end so again give it a nice mix and stir it nicely so your puree will become so silky see and velvety like this and then i have added i have checked for the sweetness and then i have added half more cup of jaggery and then a pinch of salt to taste to balance the sweetness you know and then give it a nice stir and then see i have taken here idli rava or idli uh, idli nuka the batter which we take for uh, preparing idlis you know so the i have taken idli rava here and i'm adding gradually i didn't add the entire cup at a time because you need to check for the consistency so step by step or one by one after one you need to add it and then prepare the batter so on the other hand i have taken a non stick pan and at the bottom of the pan i have placed this banana leaf if it is available with you you do put it for the nice flavor and aroma uh, if it is uh, if the cake get roasted on this it is truly 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 heaven so don't miss it if you have it and if it is available for you so grease nicely the banana leaf and the edges of the pan and then drop all the batter which we have prepared that is the palm fruit uh, batter into this and then 
dab it gently so that it is spread all over so that's it it's ready to put it on the stove so simmer it see you need to cook this on the low flame only so after 15 minutes 12 to 15 minutes this is it and the edges get separated so see it's all cooked nicely see it's all cooked so what i have done is once i have cooled this I have switched up the flame and then cooled it and then see I have put another banana leaf on top of it and I have reversed this see this is the correct uh, look and at the same time taste and consistency also uh, people think that it is burnt but no we have put the jaggery and once we cook this jaggery with the pulp or puree of the palm fruit the color is um, the color becomes like this so again turn on the turn upside down and put it on the flame for another 10 minutes on the lower flame and then see that's it cool it and then uh, you can put it aside so this is it after cooling it i have removed the banana leaf on top of it so see both the sides uh, this cake is ready palm fruit cake is ready this is so yummy taste is awesome putting the taste aside you know if you have palm fruits in your house your house is filled with the aroma of the palm fruit only the that smell itself is very tempting and that smell itself is uh, very uh, mouth watering you know so see i have prepared this cake it's so simple and it's so easy you can check the link how to prepare the roti this is the same uh, uh, same uh, texture and the same manner how we ha i have prepared this palm fruit uh, roti or cake also so see this is so fluffy and spongy uh, soft inside and crunchy outside please do try it don't miss this because this is the season of palm fruits so give it a try and let me know how it uh, turn to you in the comment section bye bye